Well, you see, in a way, this depends upon the disciple himself. That is to say that uh, for different people, the Sakya Pandita said, different teachings are most profound, are the ones that actually enable them to realize the essence of the path. But for, for all beings in general, the uh, teachings on emptiness can be considered profound because they express the profound view of the unelaborated nature of reality. But for the individual practitioner, uh, depending on their circumstances, one teaching or another will be most profound. You can see this with the siddhas. For instance, for one uh, siddha, uh, like Buruapa, the teaching of dependent origination was the most profound. For another master, like Saraha, it was the teaching of Mahamudra that was most profound. So we cannot simply say, oh, this is the most profound teaching of, of, of Buddhism for everybody uh, at all times.